Hey there, it's Lisa Spangler here with a video for Studio Calico. Today I'm going to be sharing some ideas for getting the most out of your kits by using up every last little bit, including the content card that comes with your kit. I'm going to be working with this one from the Homestead Scrapbook Kit. As you can see, it has so much great info on it, including suggestions for color theory ink pairings but you can go ahead and cut it up and use the other side. Here I cut it up and I'm going to be using that part with the flowers on it to make a card. So I went ahead and trimmed a base card using craft paper and then I gave it a really nice score at the top. And as you can see, that little piece of paper there will fit perfectly right on a card front. I thought I would pair this with some of these die cut shapes by Life Love Paper that also come in the scrapbook kit. And I love this little banner piece and I'm thinking that this thankful sentiment will fit perfectly right on there. I think that is gonna work. And I'm going to use my Misty tool to help me stamp this on there so I don't mess it up. If you've never used a Misty before, you just put the piece of paper that you want to stamp on on the platform there. And then you put your stamp where you want it. I think that looks pretty good right there. And then since the base of the platform is magnetic, you can use magnets to hold your paper in place. Then when you close the lid, the stamp will stick to the lid and you can ink it up and stamp it and it will go exactly where you want it. I can't tell you how many times using the Misty has saved me and it really takes a lot of the stress out of stamping especially like when you only have one piece like this banner. So look at how cute that's gonna look. And then I have these other embellishments. I was thinking of putting the bow there and maybe these little die cut shapes. I love everything Tina does and these die cuts are no exception. Maybe that one can go there. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I thought I would add some leaves also from the stamp subscription. And I use the Misty to stamp these as well because it has these little pieces and I wanted to make sure that I got them in the right place. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these leaves out and then I'm going to fold them in half to add a little bit of dimension to the card. So now it's assembly time. So here's that little piece that we cut from the content card. And I think I'm going to put this on with some foam tape to add extra dimension. I go through a lot of foam tape around here. It's just an easy way to like really make your cards pop. So that'll go right on the front there. Just like that. Next I'll add the thankful banner also with foam tape. And then I can finish up the card by adding the leaves and the other little embellishments. So here is a look at the finished card and as you can see I went a little crazy with those enamel dots that also come in the Homestead scrapbook kit. And I love how there's all these little touches of foil on the die cuts that come in the scrapbook kit. I think it just is so pretty and I'm glad I didn't let that content card go to waste. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope I gave you some ideas for using up every last bit of your kit. And I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful for all of you. I love getting your comments on my cards in the gallery each month. See you over at studiocalico.com.